Hey. You don't look so good. I'm not. I've lost everything today. My future child and my own sister. <sighs> May I join you? Listen. I grew up in foster care. I didn't know that. Moved from house to house. Never had a place to call home. It made me resentful and angry because all I wanted was stability, right? So the very idea of you raising our child in a van, well, that was triggering. I see. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. You know, I, I made this about my past when it should have been about your future. But you did ask me to be the father, not some stranger. So you would have to meet me halfway. But I can't help you bring a child into this world and then abandon it. This would be your baby as much as it would be mine. And you should tell your story. But I cannot watch my child grow up from the sidelines. I need a relationship, a connection. And if that's not what you're looking for, then I'm willing to bow out gracefully. But you are going to have to find someone else. You're a good man, Dr. Austin. I think our child should witness that firsthand. Our child? You sure about that? You are right. It was wrong of me to trivialize your involvement. It takes a village to raise a child, if you're still willing. Absolutely, I am. <sighs> but just so you know, the van is a deal breaker. Fine, but you need to ease up on the Ivy League talk. Let's let our child decide what the future looks like. Wait, wait, you saying you don't want a 529 account? I never said that. God knows how much college is gonna cost in 18 years. <laughs> What are your options? I leave tonight.